What's good YouTube? It's your man Rage King back with another one. Yes, another upload to the channel. And before we get started, I'd ask if you please go down there and hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit that share button, and hit that bell for notifications if you're new. Welcome to Rumble Rage TV. This is how we do Rage and Rebels. Crown up. And if you're new to the crew, welcome to the Rage and Rebel Revolution. Now let's vibe and y'all in, in this video. I'm going to be discussing a recent post on Reddit made by one Mike Wang speaking on NBA 2K22. Now let's speak on it. Now, the following post on this Reddit page reads the following. For 2K22, I'm going to switch the logic back to using the perimeter defensive rating for outside jump shot contests like it was in 2K20. What rating makes more sense for contesting shots in the paint? Interior defense or block? <sighs> now, before I break my foot off in Mike Wang's ass, shout out to... Uh, shout out to uh, Slinky YT, uh, Slinky TY. Uh, I'm sorry if I if I butchered your name, bro. Shout out to Slinky for uh, giving me the idea to do this video because now I read this and I see why he wanted me to do a video on it because it needs this, this. What I'm about to say needs to be said. Mike Wang, how dumb are you? All right. Now look, I'm not saying you're dumb for trying to improve the game. That's not what I'm saying because you know what? Improvement to 2K all around in in general is much needed, okay? You can never improve too much. You understand what I'm saying? There's no such thing as perfect. However, when you are asking questions like this, okay? You're asking questions like this and before you even ask the question that you asked, you already answered it by what you said in the statement right before. What do I mean by that? You literally ask, what makes more sense for contesting shots in the paint, interior defense or block? But right before you ask that, you said, for 2K22, I am going to switch the logic back to using the perimeter defensive rating for outside jump shot contests like it was in 2K20. So, you just answered your own question. What makes more sense for defense in the paint, block or um, interior defense? Come on, bro. Contesting shot, interior defense. You see what I'm getting at? This is what happens when motherfuckers that don't know the game about... I sound like a broken record at this time. This is the type of shit what happens when motherfuckers that don't know a goddamn thing about the game they're making are told to make a fucking game. This motherfucker don't even know the difference between blocking the shot and interior defense. Come the fuck... How do you get an NBA license... And are told to make an NBA simulation game and your ass don't know the difference between interior defensive block. Now, before I get back on that, let me jump back on this perimeter defense shit. What the fuck made y'all think? Okay, so you mean to tell me in, in the next game, or allegedly in the next game, you just going to take the lackluster defense that is in 2K21, if there even is defense to be played in 2K21. You understand what I'm saying? You're going to take that and automatically just fix it and go right back to 2K20. Why the fuck, if it was working last year, why did you take it out? Why did you feel the need to change what was working? This is what I'm talking about. This is what happens with dumb asses. Get the ability to make games they have no fucking idea what they're fucking doing. This motherfucker right here has just admitted he don't know what the fuck he doing. If you have to ask people that don't make the game, you claim the people that don't know a damn thing about the game, but you got to come back and ask us. Which one makes more sense for defense and for, for contesting shots in the paint until your defense is blocked? Bro, the problem is not necessarily the community. The problem is you. You have just admitted you have no idea what the fuck balance in a basketball game. To be perfectly fucking honest with you, it would not surprise me at all if I was to throw a, a basketball at you. You wouldn't even know what the fuck it is. You probably think I have a small moon in my goddamn hand or some shit. You probably think I got a motherfucking uh, 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 a goddamn beach ball in my goddamn hand. Or you probably think I got some motherfucker's brain or some shit in my goddamn hands. This is the stupid. This is the incompetence of motherfuckers making this goddamn game, bro. How are you? How do you get? The license of the number one basketball league of the entire fucking world and not know what the fuck the difference is between interior defense or block. But you know what motherfucking perimeter defense is. Oh, and you admitting that you're going to use the perimeter defense from a prior installment of 2K on the new one lets me further know that you knew you fucked up. 
But you supposed to, I'm just supposed to drop everything, believe that your monkey ass and your stupid ass team of developers who ain't going to do shit because I have no faith in Hookbang at all. I'm going to just be honest with you. I have no faith in Hookbang uh, at all. I have no faith in Take 2 Interactive at all. I have no faith in Ronnie 2K at motherfucking all. And for goddamn sure, after reading this, I have no faith in motherfucking Mike Wang whatsoever. ever. Because you motherfuckers can't get the simple shit right. You motherfuckers are so dumb, so lazy, so goddamn incompetent. When it comes to what basketball is, you motherfuckers don't even know what is what. Don't even know what is what. So you know perimeter defense is supposed to impact the jump shot on the perimeter, but you don't know interior defense is supposed to contest the shot in the paint. How stupid. A fucking monkey could have gotten that right on accident. But no, not these monkey ass motherfuckers. They told us to just trust that they're going to make a good man. Fuck that. These motherfuckers aren't it, bro. Y'all not it. Y'all not it. How fucking dumb do you have to be to make the same game over and over and over and over and over and you forget how to do shit along the way of making the same game? That makes no fuck. You have got to be... See, bro, this is why... I probably shouldn't say this, but fuck. This is exactly why I couldn't be in one of them boy meetings with these stupid motherfuckers like Mike Wayne, bro, because I'm telling you right now. Or motherfuckers like motherfuckers at Crystal Dynamics and shit, because I'm telling you right now. I would have been lost my shit. Because I would have been in there slap, jack slapping the shit out of that pimp slapping, back slapping, backhand, whatever the fuck you were punching motherfuckers smooth in the mouth for thinking this dumb shit. The fact that you not on, I want, I want this motherfucker to walk me through the mental fucking process it took to not only think that shit, but have the motherfucking wherewithal, if you want to call it that, to put that shit on a post and be dead fucking serious about it. How dumb, how lackluster, how ill for fucking paired. But this is the motherfucker I'm supposed to motherfucking trust. A motherfucker that can't dribble the ball twice in the real life, man. I'm supposed to trust this motherfucker for the next NBA experience? Fuck that and fuck you. Complete fucking bullshit. No fucking way. And it is this shit right here that lets me further know 2K22 ain't finna be shit. And any of you motherfuckers that want to defend Mike Wayne, Ronnie 2K, any of them bitch-ass motherfuckers that work at Take 2 Interactive making this shit-ass game, working on the next shit-ass game that's finna come out, fuck you too. Get the fuck off my channel. I don't need you here. Because it's you same motherfuckers that sit there and talk all this shit about, oh, I'm sorry at the game, I can't play, I can't play, I can't play. But your bitch-ass show all up on my goddamn videos, huh? Y'all the same motherfuckers, you talk shit on my channel, though I have motherfucking 200 times more subscribers than your dumb ass do. Oh, you trash, you trash, but the game is trash because it won't let you do So what the fuck is it, dumbass? Shut your stupid ass up, stick your thumb up your ass and go suck on your mama's titty, and I'll be your stepdaddy by motherfucking next week talking that shit. Because this is crap. This is absolute bullshit. No fucking way you gonna sit in and tell me that I'm supposed to trust y'all with the next game and y'all can't get simple shit correct. Stop. Fire this motherfucker, man. What the fuck is so important about this motherfucker that he get to keep, that these motherfuckers get to keep their goddamn job, though time after time after time, all they have done is fuck up. I can't go to my motherfucking job fucking up every time I expect to keep my shit or not expect people to get on my ass. So why the fuck does this motherfucker who has shown you, he don't know what the fuck he doing, still working on this shit. Why? Y'all mean to tell me, out of the 8 billion motherfuckers walking this goddamn rock we call a planet, y'all can't find one other motherfucker that can do better job than this bitch? No fucking way. Y'all can't find a goddamn developer that actually knows the game of basketball? Oh, let me get it right. Let me get it right. Y'all don't give a damn about the basketball. Y'all just give a damn. Y'all are much willing to work harder on motherfucking buying up patents and influencing patents in your fucking game that fucks over anybody that's better than the next guy to get them to spend money on motherfucking uh, 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 packs, get them to spend money on boosts, get them to spend money on motherfucking VC so they can boost their player up to automatic 85. 
Y'all work harder on fucking patents that ruin the game than y'all do actually to giving us a goddamn product that's worth fucking playing. Get the fuck out of here, bro. It's exactly why I'm Mike Wayne, Ronnie 2K, all you motherfuckers at 2K, your bitch asses need to be exiled from the community because you have no place here, bro. You don't even know basketball, so how the fuck you making the game? Get the fuck out of here, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Y'all want to know what's wrong with the goddamn cancer that's become the 2K community? You're looking at it on your fucking screen. These bitch-ass developers not knowing what the fuck they doing, and they expect us to be cool with it. Fuck that. I'm not cool with it. And seeing this shit right here, 2K22 is dead before they even gave this bitch life. And if I'm wrong, prove it. That's my video. I'm out.